other. Oops. I always do that wrong. So mute, lost themselves. All right. There we go. Okay, you guys, sorry for the delay. Um, thank you all so much for stopping by my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. And I've been working on this mermaid lap book for a couple of weeks now. And it is finally, finally, finally done. Yes, I'm super, super excited and happy to have finally finished um, this lap book album. I guess I'm going to call it both because it's kind of like a combination of both. Um, so that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a lap book album <clears throat> because it's a little bit, you know, like I said, a little bit of both. So yes, you guys, um, everything is finally done on this book. So I wanted to share with you guys, um, what I did and talk to you a little bit about the process because I didn't record, um, the finalization of it all. So this is what I did with this. Um, so most of you guys that were here before, remember you saw that I used, um, this is a chipboard piece right here along this top. And all I did was kind of glue this down on the cover. Um, and I did that live with you guys. And then I pretty much went over it uh, with burnished brass, which is a uh, metallic wax, okay, by Deco Art. It's called Metallic Luster. And so I went over with Metallic Luster. Um, and then what I did is that afterwards, um, like I told you guys, I was going to go over it with triple thick. Hey, Tina, how are you, darling? So I went over it with triple thick, um, which is kind of like, uh, your version of glossy accents, but it's not really for that. This is really to seal art, um, and to seal projects and glossy accents is more, more or less what it says, you know, to give little accents here and there of a little bit of gloss. But what I did is I took this and I went through the whole entire cover. So you can see that's why it looks so shiny. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> yes, I'm so super excited with it. Oh, my goodness. Um, and so I glossed the whole thing up. So the whole thing is glossy. The whole entire cover is glossy. So what I did is that um, I went into it and I put uh, the triple thick. First, I did this, so I encapsulated her. So she's completely encapsulated into, um, you know, and covered up. She's entirely glossy. And then what I did is that I filled in the back with the triple thick on its own. And then I added some of this. Still have tapes sticking onto my thing. This is Deco Arts Glitter. Um, and it's a fine glitter, and it's called Glamour Dust. So I added... Um, some of this fine glitter and I kind of sprinkled it everywhere after I went over with the triple thick. So while the triple thick was still wet and it took a couple hours to dry because it was really thin. It wasn't like I was filling in, you know, um, you know, something deep. So it dried in a couple hours, which I was really, really happy with because um, I was still able to continue working on it just a couple hours later. So after I applied the triple thick over the whole entire cover um, and I spread it all out nice and evenly and I try to get into as much of the crevices and the little nooks and all that stuff as possible. While it was still wet, I went over it and I kind of like gave it a light uh, sprinkle of glitter. So not only does it have that wet look, but it also has um, that shimmer all over the place. It's all shimmery. And then what I did is that I took... Um, some flat backs in blue and I added more triple thick along this edge here and then I placed them all down so they're stuck in there because it's it's not a glue per se but it'll seal things um almost like a glue will and the same thing with this after I went into it um I added more of the triple thick here you know in a few different of the where the dots are and then I just press them into place and it pretty much encapsulates them there and it holds them steady so I covered up the whole entire thing, including when I put my photo, my um, book corners here. Hello, Sarah. Thank you. 
So when I put my book corners here as well, I adhere them with the triple thick as opposed to using like a glue. And this is just a gloss glaze. So like I said, um, other gloss glazes will do a very similar thing. Um, this is just a, a thicker, uh, a thicker formula. And I really like the way that it comes out. You can see all of the detail in the back. Um, nothing is obscured. You know, it, it dries really, really super clear. So everything shows, like everything really shows um, after I applied this. So <clears throat> also what I did is I went over the banding again. And um, I try to get rid of as much of that, uh, have that green as possible. So I went into it with some of the black just to give it a little bit more um, dimension. So I went into some of the crevices with some of the black. Um, and this is the black I'm talking about, which is black pearl, which is not all the way black. It's like a gun. What is it? Gun metal? Black, which is more like a really, really dark, dark gray. And then this is a, uh, a trim right here that was gifted to me. And so, again, I adhere that. But this I adhere with um, hot glue. So I hot glued this whole piece down. And it has like um, beads, not beads, yeah. That's like the pearl string, string pearl. That kind of um, does the, the little S thing here, almost like DNA looks, kind of. So it kind of, you know, goes all the way down, super cool. And then I just painted it over with the black. And then I went over with the triple thick. Um, again, I wanted to seal everything as much as I possibly could just in case. And so that's what I did with the front cover. And I really like the way that it came out overall. I hope you guys are able to see color wise, um, just the way that the whole thing looks because my camera looks a little bit, well, on my, my view here on the YouTube channel, I can't, it looks a little fuzzy. So I don't know if you guys are getting the same resolution. And then this is the back. So what I did to cover this book is I took a piece of fabric and I more or less went from here and I wrapped it over the solar spine as well as the back cover. Um, again, I triple thick the whole thing. So even the back has triple thick on it. Even the fabric itself, I put triple thick on it. And I also gave it a dusting of the glitter. So the whole thing is glittery from front to back. It's all, um, you know, uh, sealed into the fabric with the triple thick. So back here, what I did is that I grabbed some of these little uh, metal filigrees and I just put them all down the spine. This took me a heck of a, <laughs> this was a headache to put on. I'm going to tell you why, because as it would dry, it would dry more stuck on one side. So it will lift on the other. So I had to let it kind of dry for a little while. Um, and then with hot glue on the other side um, that it was lifting, I had to like, you know, hot glue it and hold it down. Once I was able to get them flat, then I went over it again with another layer of the triple thick just to make sure that everything is nice and um, stuck there and encapsulated there so that these things are not going to be lifting up and going uh, more or less anywhere. So they're nice and stuck in place. And I put a little blue dot on the back of all of those as well. Now, for the back, <laughs> I made a pocket back here. So you can go ahead and add um, add whatever you want. This material, I don't know what it's called. It, it wants to look like a cam. It wants to like look like canvas material, but uh, the weaving is more thicker, so it's it's not quite canvas material. But it does have a, a resemblance to it, especially now that everything is like um, you know all covered in. So I did do. I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but I did do. Oh, you can't. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You guys see all that shine? If you guys can see their stenciling here that I did, again, with a Deco Art stencil, I used um, this one right here. I forgot what it's called, but it's got, um, I used the little crab. I used the fish, the starfish, and the seahorse on, um, on this. And I, get, I did it really lightly. Again, I kept it all within the same theme, so I used the burnished brass. Um, to kind of stencil it in place. So if you have it up close, you kind of have to uh, tilt it at an angle in order to see it. But there is all right here along this, along this row. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's almost holographic, but it's not. Yes, 
it's so glittery and the, and the good thing is is that like it doesn't get on your hands like it's all in there and it's not going nowhere <laughs> the only place that you really feel the glitter is right here right here um it feels a little bit like sandpaper and you get one or two little flakes but really everything is mostly encapsulated it's not going in but you you feel it a little bit here everywhere else it just feels plastic it doesn't you you don't really feel it so that's what i did with this so i went ahead and just kind of um stenciled it in the brass and then obviously i you know i had to use my sprays because i was trying that day and i was like no i'm gonna do this so the reason why this is like a coralish kind of color is because i use the cockle barrel <laughs> hold on <coughs> this word always kills me every time i have to say it. the cockle bells coral yes i use the cockle bell coral wow i use quite a lot of it um i'm gonna have to be more stingy with this moving forward or maybe add a little bit more i'm gonna have to add a little bit more water so i spray this whole thing down the, the spine and everything and then to kind of so that it all matches with the way the front cover looks what i did is that i went into it with um the burnished brass and then i just kind of brushed it all in there like you know kind of blended it while it was still wet because the fabric was still wet i used this and then i just kind of blended it all in there so that's why now the stenciling that i, I did originally before i even went into spraying anything um is so like you can still see it but at the same time it almost kind of blends in because the colors that i use were pretty much these two right here throughout the whole thing and that's more or less how that looks and then it's got this really nice pocket so to keep it in theme with what i did here in the back with all the metal things that i put in the back yeah right it's just crazy sarah every time i'm like jesus they couldn't just like say something else coral <laughs> like <laughs> anywho <laughs> let's move past sunday lord it's sunday let's keep it moving forward <laughs> so i did this really huge huge pocket here because i figured you know you can add anything in here plus you know if you wanted to use this let's say for a journal or if you wanted to use it for something else then you still can kind of do that um so let's get into the inside so i did tie um i added this gold um threading here so it's in there you know from coming up from in there it's hot glued into place hopefully that won't break off um the edges are a little fuzzy because i wanted it to be kind of fuzzy so i did remove some of the threading from around the edges just so that it has like a little bit of fuzz going along the edges and then this threading right here comes from underneath there thank god i left myself some space and what I did is that I, I still have quite a few pages left from everything that I used to make this. So I'm including with this everything, like everything that I have left over. Um, whoever ends up buying this one is gonna have all those extra pieces of paper. I mean, it's not like a huge abundance, but there is quite a few. And you're also going to get, um, like you're also going to get all the bits and pieces that I have, like, <coughs> So you're gonna get like all the scraps you're gonna get the whole thing because i could always print it out again and you're also going to get like all the mermaid chipboards that i didn't do anything with um which is quite a few of them so there's quite a few so if you wanted to add more pieces to this or if you wanted to make uh, additional parts that you can go ahead and use in here because you still have room then you can use all the extra pieces that i left behind to um have some fun me i just I, I got to the point that i couldn't do no more um and i didn't want to end up messing it up so i'm like if i don't stop now i'm never gonna stop and i'm on to the next one you guys i'm on to the next one <laughs> i can't so everything is in this folder pretty much um everything that i couldn't fold and put in there is what you're gonna get uh along with this so there's quite a few pieces um not this i gotta go through this but as far as like the pieces and anything that's mermaid related um and all the little bits and pieces of the paper not the folder pieces because these are my pieces to make other ones um but you have some really large scraps in here so all of that is gonna go with whoever ends up purchasing this um so hold on let me just close this folder 
And I think I'm going to have my auction within the next two days because I am I was waiting to share the um, Romani album that I made for the 10K Hop. If you guys haven't watched that video, go watch it. It's up on my channel now. It's um, for the 10,000 Reasons to Celebrate Hop, uh, which is hosted by I'm a Mama 24 And she was gracious enough to ask me to be a part of it as well. And I was honored to be in it. So my video share is up of what I did. Let me put this back now. So these are all folded and put in there. So like you have all kinds. And I did kind of fold them, but you should still be able to use them. So you got all kinds of bits and pieces of papers. I had to fold them because just the way that the album itself is, it doesn't allow me to put the whole sheet inside. <coughs> so I went ahead and did the same thing to this pocket as well, which is. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I think it's gonna um I'm thinking maybe Tuesday because tomorrow I have some running around to do. So I'm thinking that I'll do it on Tuesday. And I have quite a, I have five books in total to sell, including this one. Um well to put up for auction. <clears throat> and it's my very first one. And um I'm really excited and I hope to be able to make more um and bring more out there. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I triple thick the um the cover. This is the big envelope that's here. So, so let's put this in there. So this is a huge envelope. This whole thing right here is a huge pocket, not envelope, it's a huge pocket right there. And it's triple thick, and I also sprinkled some of the glitter on the inside because of course, why not? Um, all of these pieces here as well, all of the um cutouts that I created with the cricket. I also went ahead and um, triple thick all those pieces. So you're going to find triple thick in a few different places. Look how cool I made the crab pinch the mermaid. Um, <laughs> so let's unpinch the mermaid so we can get the mermaid out. So you're going to find like little die cuts like this. that I, It didn't really fit my theme, but maybe it'll fit something else. So I just included it because I figured you never know. Um, so we have a pocket back here. And this is why this is a lap book um, album kind of thing because, again, just the way that it opens up, the, ex the ability to extend it so, so far out um, is really what kind of makes it, you know, lap book-ish, at least in my mind. <laughs> but everybody knows in my mind's a little bit, you know. <laughs> so it opens up like this. So we have the whole thing opened up. And, again, you have more die cuts. We have... It's beautiful um, octopus. I almost forgot what it is. And again, everything is glossy. All of the these little embellishments here are glossy. I didn't overdo it too, too much, I don't think. You guys will let me know. Um, so this kind of opens out like this, opens out like that. This right here is a tuck spot right there. We also have the pocket right there. We have this uh, image right in there. So that goes in like that. Here we have the mermaid. I glossed it up just to make it look like she's in water. Um, and then I glossed up the seashell. And again, this is a pocket here that you can add stuff into. This is a mermaid crown that I found on Pinterest, I think. And then you can also tuck something back there. And then we have some pockets here in the back. So we have three pockets on the back sheet. We have that first one, that second one, and we have a little one right here. Cool. I think I put this wrong, but anywho, we'll figure it out at some point. So that's like that. We have a pocket up here, a tuck spot right there. I found some of my other, my old mermaid um, uh, little die cuts that I had um, done like over some of my painting papers that I had left over. So I found some of them and like going through some other stuff and I was like, oh, I need to use these. 
Yes, and that's kind of what makes it lap book ish. Albums generally don't have um, many fold out sections. They usually, you know, it's you usually have the the section here, and then the envelope or the pocket is usually part of that same, you know, that same uh, photo place, photo mat place, right? That same photo mat area. The pocket that it usually has is usually a part of it. With lab books, you end up adding different pieces to the page that fold out this way, fold out that way. You end up adding pockets in other places and you end up adding the pockets in a different style in a different way, which is kind of what makes it, you know, lab book-ish. <laughs> lab book-ish, that's, <laughs> that's the new word for 2019 because all my stuff is gonna be lab book-ish. <laughs> um, so this right here is actually a pocket this way. And again, I added stuff like random stuff that I that I found looking for other stuff. Um, I found like uh, these die cuts that I have for a while and the mermaids, and I was like, I'm gonna add this in there. So I added this one right here. It's glued in place. That doesn't come off. Um, I think you have a little bit of a tuck spot right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, you sure do. So you have a little bit of a tuck spot there. If you wanted to add something additional there, you can. Um, and then you have the long pocket there. This as well. This is actually a pocket all the way down. This whole little strip right here is actually a pocket. So that folds out like that. On this page here, I laminated it with tape. Um, so I put tape all along this in case you wanted to like add some sticky notes um, or if you wanted to stick, let's say some washi tapes or something like if you um, wanted to use this for something else or if you wanted to um, use it for like a planner or traveler's journal or something else, then you have the option of doing that, um, you know, on this panel here. So this is sticky. I found some of my painty paper, mom, some of my painty papers. So I added those in there. Um, so you have some of the painted papers. Um, I didn't stamp the pages themselves. I was gonna, but instead what I did is I just kind of sprayed them a little bit with uh, some of that same coral. So, so you can see the pages uh, spread out. And then I just did different folds on them. So they fold out in different ways, just to give it a little bit of interest. So some parts are gonna have uh, inking, because I, I inked them while they were folded, because I wanted to keep some of those lines and textures in the pages. So that's how both books are, and then both books also have um, some of my painted papers, again, that you can use for other things. You can pull these out. <coughs> And if you're into art journaling or whatever the case may be, you could definitely use those or incorporate some of this into that. So that's how that one looks. And then in the back, we have these little cards, um, little tags that I put in there. And then it opens up like that. So you have uh, some places to add some photos or whatever you wish to do. Then we have more of the same similar books um, with the pockets. I added a mermaid to the starfish, so now the mermaid is dancing with the stars. <laughs> I think that's so freaking awesome. And then she's also a tuck spot, so you can tuck stuff in front of her as well as behind her. You could tuck down multiple things. If you feel froggy, as they say, you can um, add a picture here, you know like glue a picture on there or something or in other areas. But I think this is so nice. And she spins around. <laughs> I could do that all day. So um, there's a lot of washi throughout all of this. Um, this is from Miss Sparkle and Co. And it's called um, Blue Nautical. So if you're interested, um, it's from Joanne's Stores. Yes, it's from Joanne's stores. And it says number 921683. And I don't know if it's still available now. This was gifted to me last year. And I never really found... Um, I always wanted to use it, but I was always scared to use it because I didn't want to waste it. And I kind of went balls to the walls on this one and just did it. <laughs> and used the a lot of it. 
And so we have the mermaid there. We have this flip section here. This is another little tuck spot um, area there. We have this right here that kind of folds out. So that's what I ended up doing with these um, little buckle things. I ended up using them so that I can fold out pages, which I absolutely love. I think I'm gonna be doing that again. I'm probably gonna be painting this in the back because I don't like it to look incomplete. So I must have forgot to paint that. I did it for the other one. Um, and then you have the mermaid looking down on you. The first time I put it the other way and I didn't like it because I felt like it was upside down because when you flip it this way, it should be looking at you, not the other way around. So um, I just distressed this lightly and then just added a um, little cameo there, if you will. And then you have this whole area here. If you wanted to add a photo um, or you wanted to add something else, you can still do that. And then you have, you know, a, a pocket area that you can go ahead and add more. And this is of a mermaid mom holding her mermaid baby. I think it's super cute. Because as women, you know, that's another one of our accomplishments. <laughs> so <laughs> this is pockets right here. This is pocket. This is pocket. Okay. You have two pockets on that one. And they don't all have tags, but I did the best I could. Now here, this is just a piece of tail. <laughs> I just stuck it that thought it would look cool coming out of the water like that. But I left it alone in case you wanted to use it somewhere else. I didn't want to just leave it fixed. And then again, this is one of my, um, using one of those um, cutting dies, those generic cutting dies. I did these a long time ago and I did these on um, painted papers from when I do my mixed media. <clears throat> I usually save those scraps. Um, I usually save those scraps and I just like put them away. And this is usually from like cleaning my brush or a lot of the times what I'll do is that when I add a lot of color to my canvases and stuff like that, like I'll grab pieces of paper, like I'll grab a piece of paper and so that it dries faster, I put it on while it's still nice and wet and then I take them off and usually I get really cool um, effects and residuals that I leave to dry and then I can use them for my die because I can use them for other stuff. In this instance, they serve me um, as additional sheets uh, here. <laughs> um, see this one's on its way already it still has a little bit more ways to go but it's already catching color and that's what i do i save them i save all of my um junk papers all the papers that i use to um you know for that kind of stuff so this is adhered on and the, the tail itself is not permitted. The wave is where the little catching uh, area is at. That's where. Isn't this hilarious? Like, look at this guy. <laughs> hey, Jackie. <coughs> I think he looks so funny because he looks like a movie star kind of, but then the little belly and the hairy legs is like, what the heck? So that's that right there and that one folds out like that then we have this section here so on this section here i originally have one i have to go ahead and add um the blue dots that i've been adding to all the other ones hopefully i still have some if not i could always take some from sasso <laughs> uh oh is my feet okay am i buffering Cause mine's just buffering here. Oh man. Okay, you still. Okay. No. Oh, I'm not buffering. It's buffering on my end. Uh. Why? It's buffering over here. I don't know. Okay, there it goes. Ah, oh, geez, Louise technology. <laughs> All right. So on this one here, um, I went ahead and did the same thing. I, I had found this um little die cut that I had from before. So I just glued it onto the back. And then you have a tuck spot here. So pretty much it kind of holds that in place. I'm gonna add some blue um flat backs to that there. 
And then again, a photo mat area for places to add some photos. Here on this section here, um, this is a pocket. And this, let's see, did this dry on me? Did this glue down on me? Hopefully it didn't. Anywho, so this little thing right here goes in there to keep that thing closed. That's a pocket right there. So you can uh, put tags in there. This is another, uh, just like odds and ends that I found in different places in my stash. And then here you have uh, a place that you can either tuck some papers in <coughs> or you can add some photos um, down here as well. And it goes all the way down like that. Hopefully you guys um, can see that. And I did go ahead and spray it. So, I mean, like I said, these papers themselves, they were really pretty, you know, on their own. But once I sprayed them with this, like it just took the papers to a whole new level. If you guys remember, the papers were regular. They were plain. Um, they were just, you know, they had their beautiful imagery and paint and printing on the background. But I love the effects of the spray on it because it looks like water splashes um, all over the place. So I really like that. And then this goes in there. And this is supposed to swivel, but I think I glued it down. I'm going to mess with it and see if I can unstick it from where it's stuck at. So that's that section there. <coughs> and then this is the back of that one. It's got this pocket here. This pocket is, doesn't go, like it doesn't come off. It doesn't flip out. And then you have more of my painted papers that I had left over. And these all have like shimmer in them. Um, so they're all kind of shimmery in their own way. <coughs> and we have the same uh, folded papers from like before. In here you have quite a few of those. And this is all held in place with an elastic. I forgot to mention that. So you can take these books out and replace them um, with something else. You can add other things to them. Both of them are the same. Both of them are on um, elastics. So you have areas that you can, you can take these out and fill them in with whatever you wish. These are just covers, if you will, that you can just fill in with whatever you like. And so this is the back of that one. And for this one, let me unclip it. I did a little wallet. Um, I'm dropping papers over here. So here, this one has a pocket, a long pocket here in the back. And it kind of holds this little wallet that I made for it yesterday. So it's like this. And I made this from envelopes. So this is all envelopes, okay? So it's like that. And then the other side. And I added an anchor on this one. And then a little mermaid thing on that one. And that's what that looks like in the back. And then in the center, it opens down and up. So you can add pictures. Um, you can also add pictures or you can add whatever else you like in here. Um, but they're more like little photo mat areas and this kind of folds inside like so, like so. And that's how this little wallet goes. And then there you're going to find this cache <laughs> of papers. Again, I only put in here the ones that I could fold, like so the smaller pieces that I could fold and, and stick in here are the ones that you're gonna find in here. Uh, for the most part, the bigger ones you're not gonna find in here. Okay, we're almost done with this show and tell. Hold on, I put the papers in the wrong spot. These go here, these long ones go here. I haven't been able to stop touching this thing since I made it, you guys. It's so bad. Thank you, Jackie. Since I made it, I haven't been able to stop touching it. So that's more or less how that kind of goes. And I'm gonna call this a wallet because you could put photos and stick some paper in there as well. I might have to clip that little corner. I made it a little bit too tall. 
Yep, I'll click that little corner. All right, so that's that, and that goes in there. And more or less what I did is that I just kind of clipped it in place so that it's not like flying out all over the place. So that kind of goes in there. And then we have the last little book. So there's a lot of stuff. It looks like there's a lot of stuff going on in here. I mean, it's really, really full right now, but you still have room to add more. All you have to do is work from the sections that, you, that are already built and you can continue to add more things. So again, photo mat area, um, pocket, the pocket right there. Pocket on the back. And again, all of the pieces have been glazed over, so they're all shiny. Corner pocket right there. Um, pocket right there, and then a little tuck spot right here on the top. Oops, it folds off that way, that way, and that way. And then back here, this is the last um, final piece of this. So what I did is, remember that I had two large um, envelopes, and oh yeah, this is what I did in the back. We have this little um, statue uh, picture here, and then a little tuck spot, and then the little tag area. Let me see. So here I have a, a little, uh, this is a pocket right here. <coughs> this is um, using some acetate printer sheets, um, projector sheets, whatever you want to call them. So there's a pocket there. And then I put them both together. So there's a pocket here on this one as well. So this one has. Uh, it's pocket as well. So it's both of them together. And then this is what it looks like in the back. So more or less you have a pocket and you have a pocket, but you also have a pocket here in the center and you have a pocket in the top. So you have that one, you have that one, that one, and that one. So you have four pockets in total on the back cover. Um, and again, I, I sprayed it with um, some of the the coral <laughs> spray. I can't bring myself to say the whole thing all the time. Um, and then this kind of folds out like that. Put this back in here. But ooh, this guy goes in here so that you know that there's a pocket there. And I figured if you knew about that one, then you got this one, then you don't have to worry about the other ones. The other ones are self-evident, if you will. So yeah, this is this is this the completed, finally completed uh, mermaid lap book album. Uh oh, no problem, Sarah. So I'm gonna be including this one as well as my other ones, um, which you guys have seen before. So it's a total of five and everything. All of these papers go in there. These are all extras for you to use um, and add your own parts or make a whole nother one. And that's it. This is what it looks like. So we have our front all glossed out. We have our spine. And then we have our back pocket and all. Oh, that's a little paper for no one in the back pocket. I'm like, where did these go? This one back here. So yeah, this is done. This is done, done, done. And I love making it. I'm working, well, I haven't started yet, but I'm already thinking about what is gonna be my next challenge. Um, when it comes to these books, because they're all a challenge for me. I never know how they're going to turn out once I start them. 
And I always start decorating pages first before I even think about a theme of what they're going to actually be at the end. Can't lose no pieces. <laughs> so, yeah, I have a few. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, I was super lucky um, to be able to find some images that I can actually cut out with this machine. Um, so it printed it and it cut them out for me. So that saved me a lot, a lot of work. Um, all I had to do was pretty much just seal them, you know, add the triple thick to them once they were done. But I really like the way it came out. And I really like um, this part of it here because of the, the way that you can kind of see, but kind of not see like um, the little crab, the starfish and everything. I didn't want it to look so cheesy because I'm like, oh my God, I did this cover in like this, you know, crazy way. And I love the cover. And then once it came to doing the back part of it, I was like, damn, what am I going to use? How am I going to finish this back? <clears throat> um, this one took me, I want to say like two and a half weeks on and off. Because at the same time that I was um, working on, hold on. On the same time that I was working on this one, which is the one that I shared yesterday for the um, the Alma Mama 24 uh, YouTube hop, at the same time that I started working on this one because I didn't want to get myself too flustered, and that's sometimes what I do, I'll start a different project um, just to kind of allow my brain some time to relax on the project that I'm currently working on. So what happened is, is that I, I was so like getting myself stressed out about how to put this one together, and if this looked the right, that looked the right, that I just needed to kind of step away from it. So that's when I started to build this one. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, and so I just like, um, this one took me about two and a half weeks because I had this one done. I had this one done, I think, by the first week of January. I already had this one done. And it took me about an additional two weeks to get this one all the way finished. Two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. They take a lot of time because of the different sections that you put into it. Um, building the covers and stuff like that, that you can do you know, rather quickly. But everything else just takes forever. Forever, forever, forever. And I'm going to be giving away some bonuses, I think. I'm going to be giving away... Um, some bonuses with uh, with the auction once I do once I do the auction. Not nothing out of this world. Oops, my ties are falling out. Sorry, you guys, because if I don't put it away now, if I don't put it inside now, forget about it. Stuff is falling out. This doesn't go in there. This goes somewhere else. Where's that page? It goes here. There we go. So yes, this is another lab book ish lab book style. I did this one for um the hop that I just hosted, which was a vintage hop. This one has really cool pockets. If you want to see what this one looks like, um, go into our vintage hop on my channel and you'll see it. Um, you'll see it there. All the I mean, I'm gonna go through these anyway the day of the auction. That's why I don't wanna do overkill <laughs> and keep showing, enjoying, enjoying. Um, so the day that I do the auction, I'm gonna be going through over all of them again. Um, not so thoroughly rather quickly because I think by this time you guys have seen these a few times. Um, so I have this one. I have um, the Romani women. I have my vintage cabinet one that I'm going to be auctioning off as well. And these are for my older ones that I have made and then the steampunk one and the steampunk one as well. I love this thing right here. I was I got so stuck looking at this one yesterday because I'm like, it's such a puzzle. Like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I didn't even realize that this thing is like, it's like a hall of illusions. Oh, Nina? She wants attention. 
that's usually her game. Anytime that my daughter passes by her, my son passes by her, she'll either bark or try to jump on them. <laughs> she wants playtime all the time. She's still somewhat of a puppy. She's only like, what, eight months now? So, <laughs> like I was saying, this is like such a, an illusion of a of a book. And honestly, this is one of my favorites. And I don't even know if I could ever re even recreate something like this. But just the way that everything kind of came out, like um, like things just kind of like pop out of the background. Yeah, she's still a baby. Things just kind of pop out of the background. Um, they look like they're completely like part of the page. You can't even tell that they are like extra elements. And this is a pocket right here. And these are all made from different pieces. This is collaging right here at its finest. So this is not how the image is supposed to look. This is just the way that I made it look. And this book has a little bit of everything. Um, literally has a little bit of everything. There's so many different um, things, but it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite, favorite books, and it's one of my earlier books. Um, I just got into making these books not even a year ago. I was uh, very much inspired by Bohemian Crafter. I've said her name so, so many times on here. Because honestly, if I would have never bumped into that lady's channel, I don't think I would be making these books today. I think Tuesday I'm going to do the auction, Jackie. I think on Tuesday I'm going to make it. Um, and this one has areas for like photos. This one has like actual um, little pockets for photos. Um, let's see, where do I add the photos to? I remember. Oh, yeah. So you can, um, right now it's in the plastic, but then you can also put it above if you wanted to. So that's completely up to you. And there's a whole bunch of sections um, that do that. Let's see how this goes. Or like this. <laughs> I'm like, how this goes. It's been a while since I made this. Um, so you have nine, right? Six sections. You have six sections for photos um, that you can go ahead and add. And all of these pages, and it's got some journaling books. Um, they all extend out. And that's the back. The touch spots. And behind the hands. In the pocket. So I pretty much glued all these different elements in place because these images are not like that, generally speaking. Um, it's just how I made them to appear. And even more, you guys. Then there's more. And this goes. So I'm looking forward to being able to do more. I'm glad I kind of freed off my palette already with the um with this one here, because I, I really wanted to get this mermaid thing done. It's been a while for me that I did um, <clears throat> something like that. So I, I really wanted to have that done. I really wanted to um, make that part of my 2019 accomplishments, if you will. And I did, I finished it, yay. So I'm super excited now I have to do something different. Uh, yes, it'll be at night. It'll be at night. Um, it'll be at night. Because I'm going to need Sasson to help me as Sasson works. Um, hopefully, he'll have the night shift off that day so that he can help me. Because, I mean, there's only five items, but I don't know. You know, I've never done that before. I've never done an auction before. So, I have no idea how it works um, or how it's supposed to work. I know about eBay auctions. I don't know about no YouTube auctions. So, um, I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to be doing this. Um I'll have more information for you know about that that day. I'm gonna try to figure you know figure it all out. Oh wait, it's just gonna go over here. I don't even have to open. I'm gonna try to figure it all, all out. And um, shipping wise, I'm not sure either. So like I said, I'm gonna have to figure out all the schematics of how to get this thing running and how to um, operate it properly. Because I do want to create more books. And after I do my book auction, then I'll do um another auction for my items the items that i've created like the hat 
and um, some of the shabby chic items that I've made for the sh um the shabby chic hop. And some of those, I need to just clean up my palette all the way through and through. And I have too many crafts that I've made um, that are just like, I don't know. I feel overwhelmed, I guess, with just looking at my projects over and over and over and over again. And I keep, I keep wanting to remake them. <laughs> so I need to cleanse it out. So that way, even if I make it again, at least it, I won't have two of them. <laughs> I'll just have one of them. <laughs> because it's like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm at the point of repeating, 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 and I don't want, I don't want to do that. I've seen a few of them, but I still don't understand it. To be honest with you, I mean, I have my PayPal, so I'm good there. Um, I just have to figure out exactly, like, you know, how to work this whole thing out. Well, I'm hoping, you know, that um they'll pay right away. <laughs> if they, you know, if they purchase it, they'll pay right away because um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing another I'm gonna be doing a backup auction. So whatever doesn't whatever doesn't get paid for um in a timely fashion, then I'm gonna put it in with the next one to give somebody else an opportunity that might have, you know, that might have been interested. Um hopefully I won't have to. Hopefully I'll be able to get rid of these in one, you know, in one sitting. Um and I'm gonna be adding some of my little flip books into the mix as well. I'm gonna be including these in there um, as a gift. So I'm gonna be giving these away. Cause I just need to, like I said, I just need to cleanse. I just need to cleanse myself um, of all my projects. This is a pocket, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, tuck spot, tuck spot. Right. Can't even tell anymore. <laughs> it's just so much. And this is a little flip book that I made. This one has the sliding pocket. This little pocket goes up. This one has a whole bunch of like um kind of see this is a pocket right here. This is a sliding pocket. So it hides that there's something in the back. And you just slide the pocket up and then this flips up. And this flips up. And there's a pocket back here, this pocket here. So this is gonna be something that I'm gonna give away to whoever, um, somebody that day. And then this is the little vintage one that I did for my shabby chic. I mean, not the shabby, the vintage hop. And these are rather simple, um, simpler, I should say. Got all this stuff in there. I didn't do too much to them. I kept them rather simple um, and I did them rather quick because honestly, I was running out of time that day. <laughs> I was running out of time that week, actually. So I was cutting it close to the deadline. So I didn't have that much time to really go into town and be town work and all of that stuff with those. Thank you. Or they give you at least a few days. Well, I guess it depends. I guess it depends. I guess it depends on how many people are going to be interested. Um, because I would just say first come, first serve type of a thing, you know, as far as like, you know. But I don't know. I have to figure that out. I have to figure that out. And I think I'm going to start with... Um, I think I might start with a base, with a base, uh, you know, with what I think the starting bit should start at. I think I'm gonna start like that <laughs> and let you guys take it from there. Cause I have no idea, I have no idea. The other ones I'll probably do different, but I think these I'm gonna start with like a base um, and I have to figure out what the base is gonna be for each one of them. <coughs> and see what happens. Um, like I said, I don't know. I'll definitely be making more, and I do plan to um, add more, like, little docu-series, if you will, of how I make them. Um, not the whole entire thing, but, like, like I did with the mermaid, that I did, like, bits and pieces, so, like, I will come on and just do a little bit of it with you guys. Because um, overall, it is a lot of work to kind of, like, you know, guess what, you guys, let's do this, you know, flip book album, and let's sit here for 15 <laughs> years while I make it. Like, no, I can't do that. So I was just too much. It drives me crazy. I could just imagine it drives you guys crazy as well. 
So I'm going to just share with you guys like bits and pieces of like elements, like, you know, how to make this kind of envelope or that kind of pocket or this kind of section. Like I'll just break it down into like little minute pieces so that you can use them, you know, in different, in different ways and styles, kind of like how I did. Um, Mine's is like a collection of just like a combination of when I learned how to make albums and um, me making flip books and then seeing the Bohemian Crafter make a huge flip book. Cause that's to me what a lab book is. It's just a huge flip book. Uh, I love making flip books. So once I saw her make this really large one and I love large things, you guys know that I like everything. <laughs> large. So once I saw that really large book, I was like, Oh, I gotta make that. I gotta make that. It's like a huge um, flip book. And that's pretty much exactly what it is. Um, you know, plus a couple bells and whistles here and there. So you guys, I don't want to take up too, too much of your time. I'm not sure if um, we're going to go live later on today. I'm not sure, um, but I will keep you guys posted. Um, we'll let you know if Sasson and I will go live. We had some technical difficulties. I'm kind of testing it out. This was part of the reason why I went live this morning to see if, if we were good and clear and good to go. Um, so there is a chance that we might go late, um, live later on. If not today, then probably um, either tomorrow or someday during the beginning of this week. We'll figure it out. Um, it's just been a little bit crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, thank you, Sarah. You there? Was it hard? <laughs> I love doing journals too. I'm just a book person. I think I like the the aspect of building them. I love, I love, I'm very hands on, um, like with my mixed media and my art. I like, I, I like to get my hands dirty. I clean them because I, it feels icky, <laughs> but I like the concept of getting them dirty. I think better than the actuality of getting them dirty, but I like the concept of getting them dirty and just how things turn out at the end. Um, the wow factor, right? They're like, oh my God, I can't believe I did this. I, I'm always so proud of myself because <laughs> honestly speaking, I still like, I second guess everything that I do. I do it. Cause I'm just bold like that. Like, I'm just like, I'm just going to do it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? I can always just over it or add a piece of paper here. Or like, I just talk myself into doing the craziest things all the time. Wow. 10 signatures. You hand sewed it or you use the machine to sew it. Cause that's a lot. I sold these in, uh, the little square, uh, the smaller sections, I sold those into place. I took that tape out of it. I was like, no, no, no. Because after a while of opening it and closing it, this is going to fall apart. So I took the tape out of there and I put, uh, I sold them in place. But I couldn't imagine doing 10 signatures. I think that's part of the reason why I'm kind of scared of doing junk journals, actually. <coughs> because I don't think I can handle um, doing all that sewing. I don't have a sewing machine, so I have to do it all by hand. And, uh -uh. I use this humongous needle. I use this right here. This is like an upholstery needle. This is what I use to um sew my my things together. It's super super large. Oh yes, and definitely practice makes perfect. Like I remember when I first started making these these lap book things, my style evolved tremendously. I think since the very first one that I made. I don't even know if I could do the same thing over again. You just end up like learning so much in the process. Yeah, I gotta get me one of those little, um, those little uh, generic sewing machines that they sell like on eBay and stuff like that. I wanna get one so that I can do other stuff. So I could implement other stuff into my books. But we'll see. We'll see how these auctions go. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But you guys, I won't take up too much more of your time. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take it easy. There's a chance that you might catch us out here roaming later on. Hopefully, if not, definitely the beginning of the week sometime. Um, but yeah, and super excited. Yay. So thank you guys for hanging out with me this brief, brief morning. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now I have chores to go do. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hugs. Bye.